The program is sponsored by partners and friends of Benny Hinn Ministries. International ministry of Benny Hinn is touching lives throughout North America and around the world with the saving and healing gospel of Jesus Christ. Through miracle crusades, daily television, and massive feeding programs, this ministry is making a difference for the kingdom of God. Stay tuned as Benny Hinn shares exciting testimonies and special reports of the extraordinary move of the Holy Spirit in the lives of people just like you. It's time we focus on why Jesus came. He came to save that which was lost. It is your glorious day today, and to Jesus belongs the glory and the honor once again. And God's dear saint said, Amen. A great scripture today. Listen to this from Jeremiah 33, verse 3. The Lord said, Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. He is still the God who hears and answers prayer. He is still the Lord who cares for you and I. He is still the Lord who will not allow, He will not allow the enemy to harm you or your children, your loved ones. Isn't it wonderful that He has given us this door for you and I to enter in any time, any day, and call upon His name? Call unto me, He said, and I will answer. He's promising to answer. I know sometimes it seems that he takes longer than we want him to. But you see, we must trust him and not give up. Sometimes, sadly, some give up because they think, well, God has not heard me, or he won't answer me. But he declares, I will answer. And I think the reason sometimes God waits is to strengthen us because in that period of waiting, we become stronger. Our faith becomes stronger. Abraham waited a long time before God answered him. And I promise you, you will not have to wait that long. And the word goes on to say, and I will show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. And I've shared this before, but this is so powerful. There are three things mentioned here as a result of prayer. Number one, revelation, where God says, I will answer you. And then vision, God will expand your vision, where he says, and I will show thee. You'll begin to see it with the eye of faith. Sometimes I'll pray about something for weeks. And you know how I know? that the answer is almost there when I begin to see it with the eye of faith. You know how it is, you pray and pray and pray, and one day you said, you say, I got it, because you see it with the eye of faith. And then what you do after that is you praise Him. I've gone to the Lord at times when I would want to ask again for the same thing, and the Lord would say to me, I gave it to you. And then all I would do is say, now Lord, thank you. It's that it's on the way. Do you remember when the Lord said to Israel and to many of the great men and women of faith in the Bible, He said, I have given this to you, now go get it. Now, they weren't there yet, but I have given you the city, I have given you the nation. Now all you do then is thank Him that it's done. But then He goes on to say, not only will He answer you, revelation, show you, vision, but he says, great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Supernatural knowledge, supernatural knowledge will be given. One more scripture before we go to a powerful segment today from the Philippines. Oh, the power of God was so tremendous there. A million people a service. Can you believe that? And to Jesus, and I'll repeat this, and I mean this, to Jesus 
belongs the, all the glory. And partners, thank you for helping me go around the world. Let me share this scripture with you just before we go again and see the power of God. Isaiah 27 verse 5 says, Let him take hold of my strength that he may make peace with me and he shall make peace with me. God is asking you and I to take hold of his strength. You know when you're weak, when you're unable to, when you don't know what to do, take hold of God's strength. And he says that peace will come into your heart, that he may make peace with me, and he shall make peace with me. Remember what Paul said in the New Testament, be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, let your requests be made known unto the Lord, and then the peace of God will fill your heart. Let me give you just a quick piece of advice here. When you, when you have a need, rather than rushing in and saying, oh God, help, 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 begin to praise Him and thank Him. Begin to tell Him how wonderful He is. Begin with confessing who He is. Prayer always begins with confession. You see in the Old and the New Testament, when they began to pray, they said, Lord, you are God. Lord, you've made the heavens and the earth. Lord, you're the king of glory, the great I am. And when you do that, you, 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 you touch God's heart, and then he'll touch yours and touch your life. Now, as we go and see the part of God, in that service, something happened and was quite amazing. The Lord, sometimes the anointing comes on me really heavy, and I begin to know things about people. While Steve Brock is saying he or she was healed, I'd say, yes, I see something else. You're going to see that in, in that service. And then a tremendous thing will happen for you. Watch this. Lift your hands now and thank Him. For the power that is in His mighty name to heal you and set you free. Truth. Beauty.
So this man was given up hope because of liver cancer. He said, actually, God touched me tonight in the service as he is worshiping the Lord. I feel like I'm totally healed and I have no pain whatsoever. Liver cancer. Yes. I rebuke this cancer. Pick up the people. Yes, Steve. Pastor, this lady had a mass in her uterus power of God came upon her. She says it has gone down. She believes God is completing the miracle even now as we speak. I also see a problem in the ear. You've been suffering with your ear. Now I rebuke it. Which one is it, my brother? Which ear you've been traveling with? Right there. I command that to go in Jesus' name. Softly, please. Parkinson's disease, she was shaking for two years. The shaking has stopped tonight. Young lady, I know, I know, I know, I know she had the Parkinson's. You've had trouble with your leg right there. That's right. What's wrong with your leg? Pardon? It's been painful, but not after tonight in the name of Jesus. This gentleman literally lives in a rehabilitation center. He has been suffering with cocaine addiction for 10 years. He said God has delivered him tonight. Been in all three services, and he feels different like he's never felt before. And he believes God has delivered him. Young man, in addition, you get chest pains every so often. Your chest sometimes tightens up. That's correct. Yeah. But not after, not after tonight, my brother. You see, Steve Brock knew about your drug problem because you told him. But the Lord spoke to me about your heart problem now. You're free, my brother. You are free, my brother. Six years asthma, Pastor. In addition, in addition to the asthma, my brother, you had an injury on your head. You had an injury on your head when you were younger. That's right. Where was the injury on your head? 
and, you, and, and the pain comes and goes. But not after tonight, my brother. Not after tonight, in Jesus' name. Pastor, this gentleman is a drummer. He also works with youth at his church. But the enemy came against him and caused problems with a slipped disc in his back. He's not been able to do the work of the Lord. But he said, God touched him tonight. He's now able to go back to his church and be a servant for the glory of God. Couldn't do what he's doing right now, just jumping up and down, praising and magnifying God. Young man, look at me. You've also had troubles with your shoulder, not only your back, but your shoulder. That's right. But ne not after tonight, my brother. Somebody give the Lord a mighty hand of praise. Kidney infection, all the pain is gone. And she felt I electricity. See, I see a tumor. I see a tumor. Lady, look at me. Lady, look. Lady, lady, lady. You, you've had a tumor. The, you've had a growth. I see it right there. Yeah, there's a tumor. There's a tumor right there. Is the pain gone? Yes. Can someone get the microphone so they can hear her? Is the pain gone? That's power. There's power on these people here. Pick her up. Lady, how long have you suffered with this? Almost a year. Almost a year. I have a, a kidney infection, but... <laughs> Never again. There's a mighty anointing here. Lift your hands and thank him. Yes, Steve. Pastor, this gentleman started with cancer in his liver and went to his lungs. I see something in his spine. Talk to me. It spread all over his body. But the power of God, Pastor, has touched him. He said, I feel different. Pain is gone yeah. out of his body. You fell. In addition, you fell and injured this part of the spine. How long ago? When did you injure your spine? Almost five years. Five years ago, you fell and injured it right here. Yeah. And the doctor I have seen. He's telling me I have a... It doesn't matter what the doctor says, because Dr. Jesus just fixed it. Thanks. Baby, what's happening to you, honey? I have an ear infection. What do you feel on you now, baby? I am well. No, what do you feel on your body now? I feel the electricity flowing through me. That's right. Visit this child. Visit this child. Visit her life. Jesus is touching this little girl. 
in a beautiful way. What's happening to you? I'm feeling bad. And I felt God embracing me. You're feeling what? I felt Jesus is embracing me. You feel the Lord embracing you. Just, just a whisper, hallelujah, please. Everyone lift your hands to heaven. That he might embrace you too. What a Lord, to him be the praise. Thank you, Jesus. You see, it's these kinds of people that are out there that need the Lord like that. A precious little girl there at the end said that the Lord was embracing her. And I pray today that he will embrace you, that his presence will touch your life. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for what you did in the Philippines. And thank you for what you're doing now in the hearts and lives of your dear people watching this program. I pray that the power of your spirit will fill them now. Surround them as with a warm blanket. Let them know you love them. Let that one know that you love your child Lord my God you declared in your word I love thee with an everlasting love bring healing today bring peace today and tranquility you declared in your word in quietness and in confidence shall be thy strength Strengthen each one watching today who needs that fresh touch from heaven and heal your people. In Jesus' name, amen. Some of you were healed just watching the segment today. You see why I love to go around the world. You see why I love to minister. My prayer has always been, Lord, do not take your spirit from me. And I'm asking you today to pray for myself, my wife, our minister, our family, that the Lord will keep anointing us and using us around the world. And pray especially that he will always receive the glory. As God speaks to you today to help me go around the world, many more nations are waiting. In fact, we'll be going the next a uh, few days really again overseas uh, shortly I'll be going to Kenya and South Africa and then on to Europe and Russia and Latvia and then to South America all this year and I do need your help because without your financial assistance there there's just no way I can go around the world and for all those that will help me today with a $50 donation or more I want to send you this beautiful book put together by Rex Humbard called Personal Promises from God's Word. You know, the Word of God, how we need the Word. And this has so much in it where whatever need you have, you just open up and there it is. And for those that can send any gift, I'll send you the same book in paperback. So for a $50 donation, you'll get this beautiful leather bound little book and this for any gift. It's the same book same truth on the inside and of course 
It's my thank you to you for your donation. Uh, we're coming to Phoenix, Arizona, by the way, just, in fact, it's next week. I'm looking forward to that great crusade at the Veterans Memorial Coliseum. It's next Thursday and Friday, March 30, 31. Make sure to come bring your friends, and I do need many of you to join the choir and help us in that choir. Uh, also bring buses and bring your friends. There is still time to put a bus together for that crusade. Call today for information. Uh, then we come to Nashville, Tennessee, April 20 and 21 at the Gaylord Entertainment Center. We'll have a Good Friday service on the Friday night, candlelight communion, Good Friday service, another powerful crusade, plus Good Friday, all in one. So make sure to come and bring your friends with you. Then we go to Philip, Pennsylvania, you in the Northeast, May 18 and the 19th, I'll be at the Spectrum in Philly. Then Chicago, Illinois, June 29 and 30th at the United Center. And then San Jose, California, I come July 2021 at the San Jose Arena. Thanks for being my friend and partner. Remember, the Lord loves you, and He still hears and answers prayer. No matter what you're going through today, God cares for you. Never forget that. He loves you. I'll see you tomorrow. The incredible sight of the huge crowd during the recent Philippines crusade had a powerful impact on Benny Hinn and his team. The reality of millions of souls hungry for the gospel is now more evident than ever before. Your support is crucial in sending Benny Hinn to the nations to proclaim the good news of the saving, healing, and life-changing power of Jesus Christ. Preparations are continuing for massive crusades this year in Africa, Europe, Russia, Latin America, and the Middle East. Satellite technology enables This Is Your Day to now be seen in nearly 200 nations. And Benny Hinn's commitment to helping the poor and needy is resulting in plans being made to build orphanages around the globe. Your large gift at this time will enable Benny Hinn to move forward at a rapid rate, and you'll be helping to change the lives of real people all over the world. As a thank you, Benny Hinn would like to send you a collection of scriptural promises to meet every need in your life. For a gift of $50 or more, you'll receive a beautiful bonded leather gold leaf edition. And for a gift of any size, be sure to ask for the soft cover version. Both have over 300 pages of promises from God's Word that will inspire, uplift, and encourage you and your loved ones. Write to Benny Hinn, P.O. Box 16, 2000, Irving, Texas, or call toll-free 1-800-433-1900 today. The next Miracle Crusade will be held at the Veterans Memorial Auditorium in Phoenix, Arizona, March 30th and 31st. Benny Hinn will be in Nashville, Tennessee, April 20th and 21st for a crusade and a special Good Friday service at the Gaylord Entertainment Center. In May, he'll be at the Spectrum in Philadelphia, and in June, at the United Center in Chicago. Stay tuned as Benny Hinn shares exciting testimonies and special reports of the extraordinary move of the Holy